Ahoy to everyone, my name is Orca and today on an Orca Strat to Celestia we are going over nurturing. And so nurturing is a pretty big part of Celestia and if we come over to explore we can go to the nurturing grounds, which is one of the main ways most players get steals and nurture. Um, steals is the currency you get for nurturing, and we can use them in the skill shop, which we will talk about in a bit. Um, yeah, so if we click on search for pets, and we can see a list of pets pop up. Um, I should mention that at the time I'm recording this, as far as I'm aware, the system is that the oldest pets come first and then you get stuff like eggs at the very end um so yeah that's a thing however if you have expanded neutral which these pets all do then you get pushed up in the lane so you're not if you have like a new egg it's not going to appear all the way back in like i don't know the end of the whole th whole list of pets and stuff so yeah that's nice um i'll talk more about expin to nurture in a bit for now i'm going to go over the basics of nurturing so as you can see we have a counter down here on this page and how many skills we have at the moment i have zero on my counter because i have not started nurturing yet and that counter resets every time you log off the page so if we say neutral this pet and I'll explain how to neutral in a bit but yeah um let's just do a few as you can see our counter is three and we have 2025 skills because we neutral three pets and they give us six skills um that's another perk of expensive neutral which I well, it's playing in a bit. Um, anyways, if we move out the page, go back to your home screen, go back to neutral ground, our counter has reset. So, if you want to keep your counter, don't move away from the page. Just open a new tab. Instead, um, yeah. Anyways, moving on to how do you neutral? If you click on the pet picture, basically. You need to read the line of text right here underneath the pet ID. And so the sentence will change depending on whether you're nurturing a, an egg or a hatched uh, um, hatchling. Um, these are called hatchlings, the ones that they're basically babies, baby swasties. Um, so, yeah. So this one says that this hatchling is slow and we need to click on race with it because that is what goes with slow. And this hatchling is droopy, so let's read it a book. Slow again, race with it. Um okay, yeah, this hatchling is void. So this one we will play with it. And I'm waiting for it to give me a, a the one I want. Ah, uh, yes. This hatchling is weak. So we will work out with it. And those are the correct nurtures. So we got four scales. We had nurtured 12 pets. You can count for yourself. And our scales, our still count went up and all that. Now I'm going to show you guys in correct nurtures and what they do. So Collect Nurtures will give you a green text down here and the, the Collect Nurture will go into how many Nurtures the pet has, which you can see on the profile page. The profile page. Um, yeah, so if we click on this one, you can see that it had 237 Nurture clicks. If we go back to the hat, the Nurture Grounds page. If we nurture it correctly, 
Now, if we go back, you can see the number went to 238. And so the number of nature clips, the pet stat, corresponds with how many extra stats they will get. So, as you can see, this pet is almost a, ma a max stat. And so if it gets approximately, like, hold on, I'm trying to calculate. But basically, for every certain number of clicks and click nurtures that the pet gets, the more of these stats will raise up. So um, it goes by which stat is the least. So agility. And so if this pet gets to, I believe, 240 nurture clicks, then the agility stat should go to 97 and that's how you get mat stat pets true breeding and nurture clicks but yeah anyways moving on if we nurture this pet in collect we red tets peels and yeah um our counter still goes up but we don't get rewarded for nurturing the pet and if we nurture this one wrong as well i'm sorry score i know this is i'm pretty sure this is a project pet <laughs> so yeah sorry about this but if we click on it and go to the profile it has 72 nurture clicks if we nurture it wrong we also get exited from from the nurture screen but um, if we click on it, the nurture click count does not go up, and your nurture does not count. So yeah, um, try to nurture correctly. Um, once again, it is if the pet is bored, you play with it. If the pet is droopy, you read to it. If the pet is weak you need to work out with it and if the pet is slow you need to race with it um it's a bit different for egglings which i will go through now so we have egglings and hatchlings right now you can see the hatchlings because those are the oldest pets in the system if we go to egglings you can search for pets and now we only get eggs so, if we click on these, we get something slightly different. Dirty eggs need to be cleaned. Warm eggs need to be, to be cooled. Um, cool eggs need to be warmed. And, um, it's not giving me what I want. I guess. Lustrous eggs need to be toned. And so forth. And the same thing applies with the nurture clicks and incorrect, incorrect nurtures. And yeah, so I'm going to quickly just nurture a few more pets and we will be right back because I want to show you guys what pets that don't have expedited nurture look like. Alright, I am back and I have reset the counter to zero. To show you the difference between how many skills you get between regular nurturing and expedited nurturing. With regular nurturing, you basically you nurture it the same way. If you nurture a pet long, it does not count as a correct nurture. And um yeah. You get less scales, you only get one scale per nurture. And pets that do not have expanded nurture do not get the boosts that expanded pets get. But otherwise, nurturing, the basics of it is the same. And yeah, um, there are other ways to nurture. So if we go up to this screen and then we go to advanced search and to search pets you can use these filters to search certain species and 
for Dunport is Bavoli, and we can go to uh, let's see, which maturity? Light Hill. And we can choose like Edwin and Hatchwing. Let's do Edwin and Hatchwing. And this is useful. As you can see, we have six, 72 pages. And yeah, this is useful during festivals where there are nurturing leaderboards. And you will get people who will go through all 72 pages of Boboli several times a day. Well, actually not several times, just one time a day, I think. But yeah, they will go through this every single day just to get on the leaderboard because there's only a set amount of nurtures you can get for each species. But yeah, um, I have not done that since I think 2018. Yeah, I, I did not do a lot of nurturing lately for the festivals, but if you want, you can go and do it. Um, yeah, um, but you will be competing against people who use the nurturing grounds. There are people who go through the entire list of pets that need to be nurtured. It's, it's nuts. But, you know, some people have the time and some people like me do not. Um, you can also go to hatcheries. So your personal hatchery will be in your account under the stables. And pets that you bred or bought that are hatchering to eggwings will be in here. Now we move on to the stair shop. So there is a link in the nurturing grounds, but we will go to the stops tab for now. And if we go to the stair shop, this is where you can spend your scales. And I will put a link in the description down below to a thread that has a list of what you get for each of the egg scale prices. Um, and then down here we have some breeding items. Um, you can sell these on the trait broker. Some things like the lesser pet dye, they sell pretty well. I think I've sold mine recently for about 50k gold per lesser pet dye. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty good way to get extra money if you have the time to nurture about 900 pets. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, like and subscribe, and comment down below if you have suggestions on what I should cover next. Um, the, I believe it's the Spring Festival, should be coming up soon. I will do a overview on that once most of the stuff is up and running. Um, I sent out my Easter tutorial a bit early and so I did not cover the egg hunt this year. So that's unfortunate. But I will do a video on the egg hunt next year. And yeah, um, I do have a few other plans on tutorials I want to make, but yeah, comment down below what do you guys want to see? Um, if you if you want to, you can also DM to me. I am orchestration. You can DM me using this the direct messaging system. If you have an account, I will answer. Just just be aware that I might not answer for a few days because I don't always get on as much as I would like to. So yeah. Um, anyways, this has been Oika, keep adventuring, and I will see you on Celestia. Bye!